What's up, everybody? Um, I'm back. Six Go Mafia here again today. Um, I decided to kind of mix things up a little bit and do a little solo thing here. I was thinking, you know, I was going through my collection. I was looking at stuff, and I'm like, you know, I am a trooper collector. Well, I'm a Star Wars collector, right? You know, among amongst others, but I love, I love troopers. And I was just thinking, like, holy shit, guys! Like, this is a pretty good year um, so far. Uh, you know, from the back end of 2021 to now, uh, moving forward, that uh, we're we're having some we're having some some trooper love, man. So I just kind of I was like, you know what, let's talk about it. Uh, you know, if you guys want to tune in and check it out, you know, I was like, what the hell, why not, man? So yeah, I figured I'd go live. You know, we don't have to pre-record it. You know, so we got Diablo Fett first to the party. Jason, what's up, everybody? Um, hey, you know. I'd rather watch your content than anything on TV, brother. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Uh, Jason as well. You know, I don't know if I like this. This is covering me up. Uh, Diablo Fett got to agree way better than the news. I appreciate it, guys. Um, let me see if I can change my, my, my brand banner here because that is kind of, kind of on my face. Um, <laughs> so let me take a look here, man. Uh, that's a little bit better. There you go. Pokey, uh, troopers are the best, man. I agree. Primetime reviews, yo, back at it again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, like I said, I was just like, I'm looking at everything. I know I've got some on the way. I already have some already. And I was thinking, you know what? Let's just kind of go through some. Because I, uh, the appreciation, man, right? For, for, trooper, for trooper love. And I think the first thing I want to bring up, we all know it. We all know it. But the short trooper squad leader, guys. I am super stoked. <clears throat> I am super stoked, dude, uh, for this particular figure. Um, I will say real quick, Danny G, what's up? I almost exclusively collect troopers mixed with a few mandos. Love your show. Thank you, man. I appreciate that, Danny. And you know what? I am i don't exclusively, but I definitely dabble in troopers. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't just buy a trooper. Um, I, I try to get multiples. Um, I try to get multiples as best as I can. One of my good friends and also trooper uh, fanatic is actually here. El Professor Mario from Collecting Weekly. What's up, bud? Um, yeah, we're doing a little bit of trooper discussion, man. Let's spread the love for uh, our trooper, our trooper brethren out there. I know a lot of people out there either, and you guys know, there's other, you know, content creators, you know, as well as out here that just, they're not into troopers, man. A lot of people easily dismiss these guys. I mean, some people do, and they're like, oh, yeah, these are pretty cool looking, right? Um, are you going to get it? Nah, I think I'm going to pass. You, you, know, you know what I'm saying? So I just kind of wanted to show the love, man, for uh, for all of us out there who love troopers. Uh, hey, hello again, Anthony. What's up, Chris? Yeah, we're, we're talking about some troopers. <laughs> you know, this is something to do, right? You know, uh, I'm getting over the cold, and uh, I thought this was a great opportunity midday if anybody wanted to tune in or catch it on the on the replay that we could just talk about some troopers trooper collecting is life bro yeah dude trooper collector right that's what's up so i know we've already seen these but hey what the hell you know i figured we can all hang out we can talk a little bit uh we can scroll through some of these images uh you know for me for me this is badass i think it's i think it's even more cooler for people that missed out um on the original rogue one shore trooper uh yeah i do have that trooper i know Mario has that trooper. Let me let me let me guys know. Like, uh, let me know in the comments here in the chat if you guys missed out or if you do have that original short trooper. But I'm stoked. One, it's Rogue One. I love Rogue One. So to me, anything Rogue One is a is a, is a must purchase. The fact that we're getting another trooper, we we now have this trooper, um, will really complement. I mean, he's like right there, for example. There's your there's your short trooper, the original. Uh, mine's on the way actually right now i waited a little bit to grab them as i typically do with troopers i don't necessarily grab them day one bro um only because i don't feel like there is a, a fomo involved to where i'm like oh crap i have to buy this right now or it's gone you know i don't really feel that way but i do feel that i'll still grab them on my own leisure right within it within a timely manner of course because you know they will sell out eventually but i'm glad i waited because they're on sale right now overseas. So I was like, all right, I'm grabbing them. I grabbed both the trooper and the squad leader, you know, the grunt. But I love this. I love, I love the short trooper design. 
um, the, the posability on these are amazing, you know, because they don't have any armor here on the legs. Plus, like I said, the design's sick, and this is going to be paired up so well together, man. So well, I think, with the original short trooper and maybe just some regular troopers, right? Uh, Jason, oh, actually, hey, Combat Evolve, what's up, bud? Hey, man. AG Smith, what's happening, bud? Uh, yeah, so Jason missed out on it. Mm, Combat Evolve, I missed out on the first short, first short trooper. Uh, but these two are doing just fine. Yeah, they really are. They really are, man. They really are. I get trooper FOMO with Pokey. Yeah, I, I love, I mean, like I said, man, troopers are great. I know a lot of people, I don't think they get a lot of love, man. We talk about them a lot in live streams, but at the end of the day, man, I think they deserve more credit. Diablo Fett, Anthony, what is your Grail Trooper? Well, my friend, you have my Grail Trooper, and so does El Professoro. And that is, as you probably guessed it, the Snow Trooper, uh, Empire Strikes Back. You know, technically, I believe it's a Star Wars Battlefront uh, branding, but the Snow Trooper is so badass, man. And I need, I really wanted to get that two pack, but I never did. And that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at right now sucks so the short trooper grunt you display in the mando collection or rogue one collection or buy two and display in both collections <laughs> i have my grunt displayed on the mando side that's a good question mario and i actually had been thinking about that and i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna display it exactly like as you said i'm gonna put the the short trooper grunt with mandalorian and then i'm gonna put the squad leader with the rogue one because i already have the captain so i'm gonna put the captain on one one end of the of the display cabinet here and then the the squad leader on the other uh so they're gonna be on the flanks and on the back tier i'm gonna have the two death troopers and then krennic in the center and then my rogue one heroes are in the front line you know what i'm saying so i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna go ahead and do that i think that's gonna be my way uh but of course i'll take all three of them and pose them as a, as, a, as a little squad and maybe take some photos or if I do a, a review on them, I'll have all three, you know, as a comparison, you know, show them together as a unit. But otherwise, I think for the actual, like, display, yeah, that one's going to go over to Mando. I think that's the best choice, uh, in my opinion, as well. Uh, Poi says, out of 23 of my figures, 21 are true. You are a trooper collector. That's, that's what's up. Props, bro. Troopers are amazing. Uh, if you want an army build, they're on sale right now on Toys One World. Yeah, I know they are. That's that's what I'm saying. I, I picked them up because they're they're really cheap right now. So, Pokey's the king of troopers. Yeah, man. Uh, I love my clones. You know, I love clones too. But I think here's the thing. Like, I grew up with Star Wars, like with the originals, and I didn't really, you know, when the prequels came out, I wasn't like a big fan of the prequels, and um. After, you know, after a while, you know, I've learned to appreciate them better. But when I look at, when I look back on my life and I think of Star Wars, I think of like originals. And so I think like regular troopers to me hold more uh, value in my head versus the clones. Because I didn't like, again, I didn't really care for the prequels as much then. And then I never really watched the animated shows. I've been slowly trying to get through, you know, the Clone Wars and whatnot. And I appreciate them. You know, I have my Rex and Cody. I got a 501st. I got the Coruscant Guards. I like them. But I think if I had to choose, if one had to go, clones are out the door. That, that's what I'm saying. So that's just, I, maybe that's me. I don't know. I like clones. But again, I think troopers are better. This to me looks way more badass than let's say rex per personally personally um so that's that's kind of my stance on that one to kathri what's up man how you doing today bud uh i like the jetta trooper with the orange yeah you know funny story so i actually just found one of these um on makari and and, and el professor knows so there was a guy on makari uh, and let me go ahead and just, we'll, we'll go ahead and talk about this for a minute because it's interesting and, and maybe you guys, uh, this might be insightful for you. I don't know. So I found that the Jetta Patrol uh, Stormtrooper on Mercari, the guy listed it for $290, I think, which is cheap. There's one on eBay right now that was higher in bids and still going. So we looked at it and 
The guy Makari just created his account this this month, January, and he had no sales and he had no no purchases, right? So it's like a brand new account. So a part of me was like, okay, that may be shady. I don't know, but it's Makari, and they don't get paid until we finalize the you know the item as the buyer. You inspect your your goods and then you confirm it and then they get paid. Of course, initially you you pay Mercari, but then your money's kind of in limbo until transactions complete. So I figured, well, what the hell, right? So I bought this. Um, I bought the trooper. I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna buy it. I uh, bought it on a Thursday. Then it was USPS it said it was delivered on Saturday. For a while, I was like, dude, there's no way. There's no way what I got here in two days. Not from the United States Postal Service. Uh, and so we checked the tracking and everything, and then we ended up calling the post office because there's nothing here. And the post office is like, yo, uh, there's not even an address on this, so I don't even know where it went. You, you know what I'm saying? Um, and the weight was wrong, uh, the package weight. So it was a total scam, long story short, and then Mercari refunded the money. So that sucks because I was excited because I don't have that trooper, but um, I, really, I really wanted that trooper, and I thought that was a good deal. So just beware when you're buying – at least with sites like that, they protect you as the buyer. So at the end of the day, you know, I was like, fuck it, I'll take the risk. You know, if, if I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. Because maybe the, maybe the person just listed it and, you know, they don't know what they have. Or, you know, they're just trying to sell it for a quick buck because they need some money. I mean, you, you know what I'm saying. So always be careful with that. Did you pick up a patrol trooper? I like No, I didn't, man. I didn't. And I really like that patrol trooper, man. Um, I really like it. And I had an opportunity to pick one up a few months ago, and I declined it, and I don't know why I did that. Because he's a good one, and I, I mean, you can get him for around, I mean, you can find him for 350 I think 350 is a reasonable price. Uh, I see some people actually, you know, they try to sell a little bit higher. If you know people, you talk around, you can get deals, bro. So, yeah, it sucks, man. It sucks. Um, okay, clones also rock. I got a ton of them. They're cool, man. And honestly, man, I probably would have picked up a bunch of the sideshow ones back in the day because I know Hot Toys had had uh, deals with that, you know, as far as the manufacturing and whatnot. And they are pretty cool looking, but all those are like out of reach now at this point. And uh, yeah, it sucks. Yeah, the patrol trooper, man. I know. Uh, now Rex is amazing. Rex is amazing, bro. But at the same time, it's like, yo, um, nah. I'd rather have a trooper. I'd rather have a trooper. I got both these short troopers, but still would love to get that OG. Yeah, he's amazing. He really is, man. And I'm not just trying to say that. I'm not trying to show off. Like, if you missed out on him, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. You know, because he's a really cool figure. But at the same token, I don't think you need him. Now you don't need him. I mean, you don't need him. I mean, do we really need anything? But I'm just saying, like, you've got the, you know, the squad leader now in the grunt. And they're basically the same figure. Uh, as far as like parts and engineering is concerned, like it doesn't, there's not, you know what I'm saying? So at least you have an opportunity to have a short troopers. That's what I'm saying. If you want to complete it, then yeah, that sucks. Cause you're going to, it's, it's fetching. Uh, it's, it's always, I knew it was going to dip a little when they announced the new short troopers, but that's just, just says how it goes sometimes, right? They'll dip for a minute. And then when it's out and the new troopers are out, then it was like, I knew it was going to go back up. Cause now people are like, shit, this one truly is unique. You know what I mean? So Price went back up. It's unfortunate. Um, but, it you know, it is what it is, guys. Uh, yeah, such a bummer. Continue to keep an eye out. You'll eventually see a deal. That's true, though. You do. You will get deals, man. You will. Do, you will. You find deals all the time. Uh, you were looking at it, too? Yeah, I, I bought it. I bought it. I was like, let's do it. Let's see what happens, man. I know. I really want that, that two-pack, bro. I really do. Uh, Pablo, what's up, man? You got the patrol trooper for 320 Yeah, that's a, see, that's a good deal. That's a good deal. Um, let me know. Uh, the guy by me has one. Dude, Jason. Well, I'm freaking tapped, brother, right now. I'm tapped, as you can you can tell. Um, so I'm gonna have to wait on it, man. Uh, and if, unless you pick it up sometime and let me know and work something out with you later, I don't know. But don't you know what I'm saying? Like, I do want to get him, just not yet. Yeah, calm, that's what we're talking about. That solo patrol trooper. He's badass looking, man. Uh, I almost want to put him on a speeder bike, but I don't know if that would, you know, you know what I'm saying? Might be kind of cool. No, I really, really need the Boba 2 pack. Yeah, this thing's pretty amazing, guys. Um, pretty amazing. And, you know, I kind of mixed up my other 
diorama displays with it, but uh, he's still great on its own. How much was the Rogue One Trooper 2-pack when it was released? That is a good question. And let me look it up. Let me look it up right now. I'm sure we can find that information right now. Oh my God, isn't that a kick in the nards? All right, here it is, man. You guys ready? I got it right here. Oof. $350, bro. 350 bucks. Good luck, man. This thing's like 1100 yeah, I mean, if you're lucky. If you're lucky, you can get it for eight, which is ridiculous. It, it, it's it's ridiculous, guys. So you see what I'm saying? Like, this comes out at that price point, and now it's, like, stupid expensive. And I feel like that's going to happen. Um, I feel like that's going to happen here with the, with the Boba Fett 2-pack. Same situation. Of course, with inflation, it's going to be even more. Um, yeah, that's such an unfortunate uh, miss right here. I would love to get this. I would have loved this. And again, that's why I bought the single. Because I was like, well, the single's better than nothing. But yeah, nah, it didn't work out for me, man. Didn't work out for me. Uh, I'm super excited for the Stormtrooper Commander. Got four to take off the pauldrons. Dude, yes, that's exactly, exactly what I was talking about. And in fact, I have it right here because that to me this was something that i'm a little more excited about than the other figures and i only say that because we've always missed out right we've always missed out on troopers at some point they come they go and you're like damn it man i just need some troopers but i'm not spending 350 400 on a return of the jedi stormtrooper or regular Rogue One Stormtrooper, right? And then with Mando, we just had the Remnant Trooper. I mean, if you want to look at it like a base trooper, right, beside the Incinerator, you know, and, and whatnot. So, and even then, it's, you know, it's different, right, because they were Remnant. So to me, I'm like, dude, I just need some troopers, man. And this is perfect. And I, you know why this is the best trooper? I'm, I'm going to call it right now. And I said this when, I'm, when it first announced. I think this is the best Stormtrooper. I mean, generic trooper, because cause like you just mentioned, the pauldron's removable, okay? So you, you're getting your trooper, you're getting, you know, the commander, you know, with the pauldron. You get the regular blaster, and you get the shore trooper blaster. And I'm, forgive me, because I don't remember the damn names. But you get both these blasters. This is the same figure right here. These two are the same figure. All they did was remove the pauldron. So you get the, you get the regular standard blaster, and then the rogue one blaster. So for me, like that's okay, and, and for the price, right, two twenty. I actually don't mind this base. I know it's still kind of like the sand base. It looks like there's you know imprints there, but it's more you know like you know, uh, green you know foliage uh, style. But at the same time, for two hundred and twenty dollars, it's like I if I had the money, dude, I would just get like ten of these. And I know that may sound a little ridiculous, but. They're just based, you know what I'm saying? They're your base trooper. You can fill in everything with these guys. So, I mean, like, man, it's, it's tough. It's tough when you get a bunch of other figures coming out, too, if you don't exclusively collect troopers, right? You get the other Star Wars figures, or maybe you're in Marvel, DC, whatever, whatever. So, <laughs> excuse me. So, I can't get, I can't just dump all my money into these guys, but I would really like to. I would really like to, and it, and it pisses me off because at this point, they're going to sell out at some point, and then you're stuck waiting forever for troopers again. We're going to be in that in that lull where we have been, where we're like, damn, I just need some troopers, but I don't want to go way back and buy them. Now, I know the design's a little bit different, right? The design's a little different. Like, Return of the Jedi, that that helmet is is a lot cooler, in my opinion, than than these, these new trooper helmets. There is a difference, um, but... It's still cool. They're still dope. I'd still pick them up, man. Um, Combat Evolve says, my Boba 2-pack is still coming. Well, it will be here. Rest assured. And, and you will love it. I'm telling you. And listen, 
I know you were thinking about maybe getting rid of half of that two pack, but you got to keep it. You got to keep this whole set together. Okay. This whole set. Don't, 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 don't separate it, bro. This shit is, is amazing. Um, ask around 1K on eBay. Yeah, dude. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous, man. It is ridiculous. Pablo says, I'm envious of all your Rogue One figures. I just have Krennic. I don't know what to say to that, my friend, other than I hope that you can find them at a reasonable price. It's difficult to backtrack. Uh, you know, it, I, I don't recommend it unless you actually can get a good deal. You know what I mean? Because it's rough, man. It's rough. I hate the fact that we miss things out. But at the same time, I also appreciate that they don't go too hardcore on um, reissues, right? Because I feel like we have something special in a way. You know, you have that that exclusivity. You know, we've talked about that before um, on one of my other uh, live streams that, you know, it's like you have it and... Um, and then nobody else does. You know what I mean? Because they missed out. They missed out. So, it, you know, it's not like a... I don't know how to explain it. But you know what I mean? You feel like, okay, my 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 figure or whatever has some value to it other than, um, you know, my own personal feelings of that figure. It's like, hey, I got that when I could, when it was available, and it's not available anymore. Like, I think it's pretty dope, right, that I've got the original Short Trooper. But I don't think that takes away... Because other people can get the other short troopers, you, but 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 in my head, I'm like, oh, dude, I got, I still got that that badass one. You, you know what I'm saying? There's something about that that I really like. Um, Combat Evolve says, yeah, we might see something like that in Andor show, maybe, maybe, maybe. Give us another two pack like that. Um, I think that would be really badass, man. Uh, if you were disciplined enough to stick to two pack collecting, you would be in good shape. Yeah, that is true. That is true, my friend. All those are, you know, and that's the thing with two-packs, guys. I mean, any two-pack that comes out just skyrockets. Time and time again, man. Unless it's like a First Order Stormtrooper two-pack. Those didn't do too good. The First Order Snowtroopers didn't do good. And I don't know if it's because the sequel trilogies aren't any many people's cup of tea. Or is it the fact that the articulation on those figures is, like, really bad? Or it could be both, right? It could be both factors. But aside from those, man, as far as Star Wars goes, those every two packs pretty badass. Uh, my only issue is that the E11 doesn't have a light from Rogue One, but no big deal. I'm just gonna get the guns from the Assault King. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there, there's, yeah, of course. I mean, but it's a small thing to, you know, those are nitpicks, right? Like, at the end of the day, we're like, all right, this is still cool. I would like things to be a little different, but I'm, I'm cool with, you know, what it is. Um, Someone has the orange pauldron for sale on eBay, missing a button, 140 bucks. No pass. That's too much money, bro. That's too much money. I'm gonna keep the set now. Good man, dude, because this set is this set is amazing. This set's amazing. Uh but Pokey says, Am I the only one super excited about the artillery stormtrooper? Is anyone else getting two? You know what, bud? Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. Because I have it queued up right here I, I came prepared guys I came prepared because I'm loving these troopers man so yeah dude the mortar itself is what I'm more excited about and, and and we can talk about this we can talk about this for a minute but let me let me just quickly see who else is in here with chat I'm trying to keep up with everybody here Maz toy box what's up Maz how you doing today bro <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm really sorry. I'm trying to get over this crap. Uh, Mario says, I could be wrong, but it seems the blaster from the commander has a modified barrel compared to the standard 11 blaster that comes with the standard trooper. You trooper experts out there, let me know. Because I don't know. I feel bad. I don't remember the guns, you know, as, as detailed as maybe I should have back in the day. Uh, but yeah, dude. Okay, so artillery stormtrooper, man. The mortar is dope. All right, let's not let's not pretend that it's not because this is pretty badass. Now I get the yellow, the must. I mean, it really is that mustard color is a little off-putting, but it's not bad. It'll still pop on a shelf. The mortar's sick. I love the backpack. I love how these are magnetic here. Like this is the shit that we like, man. As a collector, it's not just a base trooper, right? So 
these three uh these cylinders here uh the mortar shells whatever they're called my apologies but these are magnetic these just slap right in um now these grenades here they like clamp on so you gotta be a little bit careful right but that's still badass getting something different because a lot of the times yes we get a trooper they have a couple basic hands and they have like a blaster and that's it so the fact that we get the mortar we get the backpack it's magnetic so they're not going to just fly out it's not going to be a pain in the ass and he's got the pauldron which i'm pretty sure you can remove this one too don't quote me because i don't have him yet but dude, that's sick man that's sick like even if you don't rock the yellow trooper and i don't know if it's financially you know it, it, it responsible to buy these just to get the mortars but i'm sure you can find these broken down and, and buy the mortars if you want but even if you don't care too much for the yellow you can have standard stormtroopers carry this shit around and take the backpack and put it on you know put it on another trooper whatever like it's it's dope man i'm excited for him too man don't get me wrong there's one picture in here i remember Let's see if i can find it oh it might not be on side shows photos there was another photo there was another photo guys i think hot toys put it out recently uh where he's like kind of carrying the mortar uh it's dude it's dope and the fact is that it's a mortar team you want to have two troopers together anyway you know because that's usually how it is with it with uh you know a mortar squad so it's always like a two-man group just in general so i think he's sweet dude i would pair him with a regular trooper uh get a little mortar pose going on i think that would be sick um diablo fett says oh of course of course he will pair up nice with a ketchup trooper that'd look weird though man i mean like i don't know i don't know there's something about the incinerator stormtrooper though that's badass right because when he came in on mando i mean that was like world war ii style to me like that he just comes in and just cleans house man just just hose in and walk I, like that was dope man i don't feel that same like gusto from like the artillery stormtrooper but he's a trooper it's badass we get mortars i am excited for it I, I'm, I will be picking him up i don't know if i'm getting two but i'm definitely getting one now the e11 with the commander is the new hope one okay okay yeah see i don't know uh, i don't know let me go ahead and close that one out though because that is pretty badass man um it is pretty badass but like i said i think i'm just gonna get like two maybe maybe two definitely one but no more than two no more than two uh andy h says we need the range trooper from solo awesome design my artillery trooper arrived yesterday tank commander on the way hell yeah man so congrats on getting your two troopers man that's that's got that's always a good feeling man when you get your pickups uh the range trooper would be pretty awesome man pretty damn awesome but i think solo is a dead dead end which is a shame because i would have loved to find i would have loved to gotten a solo chewy you know with the double bandolier and the goggles and uh i mean it's just there was a lot of cool stuff in solo man that we should have gotten but we didn't and that's unfortunate man uh mimbem stormies please yeah dude uh any any troopers man i'm i'm all for um, I know it's still five years away, but I'm excited for 50th anniversary New Hope release. I think that's the time for C-3PO and R2-D2 two-pack. Man, I hope I don't have to wait five years for that. I'm just, I'm just saying, man. Uh, if they do, obviously they'd have to do it then. But I mean, man, I that sucks. We need that. That's so overdue, man. That is so overdue. Uh, that's why I got two. I need the team. Yeah, man. I mean, you can have a nice mortar team right there. You're good to go. Or pair it with the other one. It was with the regular commander trooper. Um, Pablo says, "Yeah, wow. I can't believe everything you get with this trooper. I know both of them. So you know, you can get the you can get the commander and you can get the mortar, both at a very good price. I think that's more than reasonable for those guys. I am not complaining at all whatsoever for those prices." Uh, it's a shame because Solo was a better movie than any of the prequels. Yeah, yeah, you might get in a, that might be some fighting words with some people out there, but I'm going to agree with you. Um, because, I, I mean, I'm not a fan of the prequels, bro. I'm not. I'll watch them. Of course I'll watch them. It's not like I hate them, but 
Uh, you guys got to remember, man, when that shit came out, what was that, 99? I think it was 99. Because around 97, they re released the original trilogy as the special editions in the theater, I think, right? And that was before Phantom Menace. I think Phantom Menace was 99, right? Because that's when Matrix came out, too. It was kind of this like back to back, whoa, you know, there's what the hell is this Matrix? This was badass. And then Star Wars was back. Um, I was not a fan. I saw all three of them in the theaters. I didn't like any of them. It's weird. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it, I don't know. It was too green screen and the acting was dry. And I mean, we can debate on this for, you know, ad nauseum, right? But again, I'll still watch them. But I just don't think, I mean, if I can go back to the 77, 81, and 83 and watch these original, the originals with limited technology back then, you know, and I feel like those are like infinitely better than what came way late. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. That's just for me, man. Uh, I will always prefer the originals. Uh, El Professor O, gotta go. So you guys get better, Anthony. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for tuning in. We'll talk a bit later tonight, man. I appreciate you swinging in. Um, Combat Evolve says, I only like the Sith Trooper from sequels. Solo is much better. Dude, I, you know, I'm going to agree with you on that one. Let's bring that up. Let's bring that up. Let's bring it up right now. Uh, because this is something I'm looking at, actually, and b believe it or not, and I would never consider myself, at, at, at that point, here's, here, here's the thing, like, I wasn't getting any of these. And then I picked up Kylo and I picked up Ray from uh, The Rise of Skywalker. Because I figured if I wanted any representation of those movies, those were the, those were the best versions. Um, but you're right. And then, so when I got Kylo, I was like, dude, I actually wish I had a couple of these when I did the review, you know? And, uh, and, and you can still find them. They're not that expensive aftermarket. So I may pick these guys up uh, just because they, they pop, man. They pop. I mean, I love that red. I love, I love the lining on them, dude. It's pretty, it's pretty badass, man. It's pretty badass. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm hoping more turtles get announced. Well, well, we'll see, man. Cash. Hey, what's up, man? Cash, man. Hope you're feeling better, boss. Thank you. I am on my way. I'm on my way to getting better. Fig Fate, welcome back, my friend. The prequels aren't the best, but I grew up with them, and Anakin's transition to the dark side really stuck with me. They aren't good movies, but I love them, if that makes sense. Nah, you're right. You're right. They're not good movies. They're okay Star Wars movies, I guess, but they're not good movies. Let's not kid ourselves. Um, but they're they're fun. They're fun. Um, and I believe at least Revenge of the Sith kind of tied it in together and was better than the, the, the previous two, in my opinion. But even then, bro, I was in the theater. Listen, man, I was in the theater. I don't know about you guys. So I went and I saw Revenge of the Sith in the theater. And I'm sitting here and I'm waiting and I'm waiting. I'm like, okay, so this this is we're gonna get Vader, right? We're gonna get Vader. And um, you know, and this is this we don't know. This, we're seeing this live for the first time, so we don't know what the hell's happening. And I swear to God, man, when that when that chamber opened. And you see Vader, and he's just like, no. Dude, I just laughed my ass off in the theater, man. Like, a, lot, a few of us did. Like, other random people in the theater. Like, it was so cheese, bro. I was like, really, man? You make Vader all, like, I don't know. Anyway, whatever. They're okay. I understand what you're saying. They're still fun, but, man, the originals just, you, you can't beat the originals, man. Uh, I'm hoping more troopers get announced. I am hoping as well, my friend. But here's the thing. Here's interestingly enough, right? We haven't for Book of Boba Fett anyway. We haven't seen any troopers, so that's not to say we're not going to get any. Obviously, like when 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 Mando comes out, or um, you know any other. Obviously, the other shows, but um, nothing I think in the works just yet. I don't know why Hot Toys hasn't put out any battle droids. It seems like a huge missed opportunity. Yeah, Pablo. Look, so they showed off the battle droids, man. Right. And I thought that too as well, but I think with Hot Toys, it's like, and, and it's a double-edged sword, right? Because I don't want to sound like a hypocrite. And again, it's not my company, 
but they really try to pride themselves and showcase like head sculpts and they want they want we want to bring the likeness down to six scale like you've got a six scale person in your living room you know like this boba fett for example but in the meantime they also do a bunch of troopers in you know other masked heroes stuff like that i get it but i think i think if they were going to do battle droids they're expensive right no matter what a hot toy is, is not cheap no matter what every hot toy is at least has a price tag like a pretty high price tag um you know obviously some cheaper than others but the bare minimum is still expensive and for battle droids, I think you're going to want to build an army on those things. And I don't know if they think that people are going to go out there and drop $1,000, $2,000 on, you know, five, ten battle droids. So I don't know. I agree with you, though. I think I think they need to come out. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have to see, guys. But yeah, I mean, this trooper's sick, man. Really, I'm sure the articulation sucks, but I would mod him. I wouldn't mind throwing these in with my sequels at all. And like I said, they're out there. They're out there. Fabio, what's up, my friend? What are you giving away today? I need it. Oh, man, I'm giving away um, Omnicron, bro, for free. All you got to do is come by me, man, and come within, like, five feet of me, and I'll give it to you. Uh, <laughs> Gilbert, uh, yo, what's up, Mafia and fellow collectors? What's up, man? How you doing? Uh, my Sith Trooper just arrived. I'll send pics later. Yeah, dude, let me know. Because I know he's pretty dope. Okay, 220. I'm oh, shit, man. You're going to make me... You're going to make me maybe pick a couple up, my friend. Uh, you know, uh, speaking of... And I didn't bring this up. Um, let me bring it up anyway. These... We're kind of going a little off rails, but we're still, we're still talking about... Uh, we're still talking about Troopers. These just... I didn't happen to have these pulled up but this is another one from the from the the sequel trilogy that i missed out on that i could still probably pick up he's not very expensive but he looks pretty badass uh i was thinking about maybe going backwards on him because i've seen him for like retail he's like 220 uh 240 um on on secondary market so and i think he would look pretty cool paired with maybe my imperial disguise gin even though the era is a bit different, I do kind of like this figure. I think because of the the mixed media, you know, with the soft goods, I'm pretty sure the articulation on this, this looks more like a jumpsuit, like a parachute style material. Uh, don't quote me because I've never owned it. If you guys own it, let me know. But I think he would probably be um, easy to pose. And I love that all black. And the trooper helmet doesn't, it it is obviously a first order helmet, but it's dark enough to where I feel like he can fit in with like original trilogy. Does that make sense? I don't know. He just looks badass, and I didn't pick him up, but I think I will because, like I said, he's still he's still pretty cheap out there. But let me know if you guys picked him up and if he's if he's great because I would like. Uh, I'm thinking about grabbing him. Andy H says range trooper is still on sideshows coming soon page. So there's a shred of hope. Yeah. Yeah. There's a shred. I'll give you that. Max is geeked him up in the house. What's up, man? How you doing today, bud? Uh, Jason says I only picked up one of these, but yeah, I need one more to go with Kylo. The Sith trooper. I'm assuming I know I'm a little behind on chat. My apologies. Um, yeah, that was lame. I agree. Yeah. The Vader, the Vader scene. Yeah. It's pretty bad. I uh, still would love Saw Gerrera and Bay's Malbus Rogue One release. Yes, I'm especially pissed because we saw a Bay's, and it's like, yo, what the fuck? And 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 now now you're giving us, you know, the assault tank commander. You're giving us the squad trooper. You know, the shore leader, uh, uh, squad leader. Right? We're getting Rogue One. I'll be at their troopers. You're still they're branded Rogue One. Give us Bay's, man. Give us Bay's. I have like every Rogue One just about. Like, give me. Days, I'd get at least six battle droids. Yeah, I'm sure you would. I'm sure you would. I'm sure some people would. I really do. Like, so it's not. It's, but I just don't know from from their perspective if they're like, yo, are we gonna make these? Are people really gonna buy them? Um, so I'm not sure. I'm looking for a Sith trooper. I got the Sith jet for seventy five. Ooh, I'd buy one for seventy five. Shit. So I'm looking for a Sith to pair him with. Well, as someone said on pop culture, he's 220. If he's still there, 
Maybe try to grab them. I need a few B2s and destroyers. Yeah, man. Some of this stuff would be really good. Uh, Max's Geekdom's wondering, hey, what trooper would you like? Well, I mean, I love them all, man, but it, I mean, like, are you asking like ones that's already out and been announced and released or just kind of like something that's they haven't announced yet that I would love for them like that I would love for them to release like to show uh, because I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, he does look awesome. Why doesn't Hot Toys do the original TIE pilot? You got me, bud. You know, um, Jason says it's funny. I just picked up this guy for 170 this past week score man hell yeah uh yeah it, it it looks close enough to the og pilot to be appealing yeah that's what i'm saying right because when i first saw it i was like oh and then i'm like oh no oh, it's sequel trilogy but my brain like immediately associated it with um uh with original uh maybe because just as the colors you know in the style but i think it would fit great uh you want an original tri yeah yeah of course of course man i think we all would uh the sith trooper okay jason okay yeah, Baze Malbus is, in fact, no longer on Sideshows coming soon. I know. Yeah, he, he's gone. He's gone. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Does that mean they're just like they had confirmation from from uh, Hot Toys that they're just never going to do it? Or did they take it down because maybe he'll be in Andor and they're just kind of like, let's bring this down. And maybe they're, they're you know, they're changing up that prototype and they're getting into a final. I don't, I don't know, man. I, I could just be talking out of my ass. You know, that's the problem here. You know, we got rumors, and there's always rumors. And as we all know... No! There were rumors that there was a rumor, but that was just bullshit. So, you know what I'm saying? That's how it always goes with Hot Toys, man. So, we'll see. I hope, I hope we get a base. But I don't think so. But never say never, right? Never say never. Um... Something that has not been announced. Oh, man. Well, hmm. I would have to think about that. I would have to think about that. What trooper has not been announced or shown in any way? That is a good question. Maybe you guys in chat know. Is there a trooper that, it, that not even prototypes, like just never has not existed in any Hot Toys capacity that you guys would like to see? I don't know either, man. I'd have to think about that. Uh, Dirk Wright says, Snow Trooper 2-pack, Empire Strikes Back with the cannon. Dude, I know, man. They did that with Battlefront, the Battlefront game. That two, I just, that's what I need, though. That's what I need. Um, Probably a bad thing. Yeah, probably, bro. I'd love to see Baze, but we'll see. Uh, We should have gotten a Mando Stormtrooper with an E-Web. I know. I know. Like, they had it, right? I mean, that was what they were technically using, correct me if I'm wrong, um, what, on the first episode, right? They swung that around um, when they all came to, you know, him and IG-11 teamed up to defend, you know, right? Wasn't that it? So, I don't know. I don't know. The OG TIE pilot has two mask hoses and a different chest box. I have the first order one, and it's a bit underwhelming. Well, how is the posing on him, though? I'm curious. Can you, can you, I mean, you know, can you get him down on his knees, bend him down? I mean, he looks like he's posable. Of course, I know that's not the only factor in, in deciding picking up figures, but I'd like to know how posable he is. Uh, because of the stigma of the First Order Stormtroopers, they're, they're, can't really, they're like statues. Um, I'd love a Galactic Marines clone trooper. Ooh. Okay, yeah. The ATACT driver. Look him up. He's cool. Well, let's do that right now. So, was this a Black Series release? Because this looks like... Um, he looks almost like the, the tank. Assault tank trooper. Um... Can I pull this image up? Let me pull this up. Make sure we're, we're looking at the right thing. I think we are. This here?
because uh, I think soap. But it, very, it looks very similar. Now, of course, this isn't a hot toy, but I'm just I'm just pulling something up to look at. Um, clone pilot, clone scouts, clone commando. Oh yeah, bad batch. All right. Um, tons of clones to make up, but Imperials are getting a bit dry. Yeah, it is, man. Um, I agree. I agree. Shore with the sidearm. He's in the movie for like two seconds. Okay. All right. That's him. All right. Well, now I think that looks right. Does that look kind of let's, let's look. Cause I have him, I have him set up too. So let's bring him up the assault tank commander. And where do we have him? Boom. Right here. Okay. He's yeah, he's a little different, a little different, but come on, man. I mean, you guys, I mean, who's picking this guy up? I don't have him on order yet. Again, like I said, I wait a little while. Troopers aren't necessarily day one uh, purchases for me, but I will grab them before they run out. I'm hoping I'm going to wait about a month or so, maybe March, and I'm going to wait. I'm just playing the game right now because the game's kind of changed a little bit, and you have these, you have these overseas sellers that they just, all of a sudden they start making these, these crazy uh, sales. So for me, I'm, I'm, I'm reserved right now because I feel like in a couple months, we're going to see this guy hella cheap on like toys, wonderland or something. And then I'll, and then I'll grab him. You, you know what I'm saying? Um, for me now, you know, if you want to grab him day one, grab him. But I just, cause I, I'm getting into other things too. I try to, I try to plan it out and then I wait. Cause like I said, they don't, they don't, they don't go out right away. Um, I'm not in fear of losing him immediately. Now, I'm not going to wait six months, of course, but, you know. I want to see a Rebel Fleet Trooper. Ooh, okay. Two tank commanders for me. I think, honestly, bro, out of the troopers we've looked at so far, this guy I think I would get to. I love the style. Okay, I don't know if it's the black and white, but, you know, it contrasts very well together. And it is definitely, you know, it is a short trooper. I mean, really, but it's, it's different enough. It's different enough to be a worthy addition to our collection. Right. I think so. I think so. And even like pairing them with these, I think looks pretty cool. You know, just having, you know, having like having a couple, this is what I'm saying for 220, that stormtrooper commander, man, you got to pick them up. Because for things like this, you know, you throw this tank commander there with a couple of regular, you know, vanilla troopers, and I think that really accentuates a scene. I mean, I mean, you can have three of these guys standing all together, but I think having one with a couple of troopers blended in, I think that would look like that. That's sick, bro. That is sick, dude. Um, and that articulation's great. That short trooper style articulation is what I look for in a trooper. You know, the base troopers, obviously, you can't pull off a lot of moves, but that's okay. You know, that's why we get cool shit like this, man. Um, You're going to go ahead and pick him up as well, Jason. Combat Evolves. Tank Trooper was instant pre-order. Simon, what's up, man? Pre-order day one. Love the look of this guy. Yes. I, he's amazing looking, man. Assault Commander. Tank Commander is fire. Yeah, bro. Bobo says got him paid off through Collector Zone. All right. Good shit. Hell yeah. Uh, I'm going to wait until around April. See if it goes cheaper. Yeah, Jason. So I'll, Jason and I are in the same boat right now. Like we're, we're, we're going to pick them up, man. But, um, but we, I'm going to wait a little bit. See if we can get a deal. Trooper should always be in Paris. Yeah, I agree. If I could swing it, I'll get two. Like every time for a trooper. Uh, Anthony, did you fund the HasLab Razor Crest? No, I didn't. I didn't. And I should have. And you know what? I don't think I'm going to get it. Uh, at this point, because now it's like ridiculous, right? So uh, unfortunately, I missed out. I really should have done it, but I didn't. Um, give a stormtrooper a different belt. I'll buy it. Any imperial, any clone. I'm getting. Yeah, I mean, dude, there's something really badass about it. Now I don't know because I don't have a ton, and a lot of mine are like mixed in together. But like I've looked at Mario, like El Professor's, like he's his. He had his troopers all in his Maji cases. And dude, I mean, there was just something. It looks so damn badass, man. Yeah, like, because they're all like white stormtroopers, and you know, you have a couple deaths, and then you have Vader with them, and they had Tarkin in the Royal Guards, and like, it just looks, oh my God, man. 
it's like a sea of white, you know, and then like a few other, you know, in the back. But oh my god, it looks so sick. I'm so jealous, man. I'm so jealous. Uh, the transport is hopefully next. I cannot wait for him. I love the greens so much. Can't decide how many I want though. Yeah, I have I have him brought up as well, my friend, because he should be around the corner. Uh, Max's Geekdom says I don't buy troopers, but I would love to see a rebel fleet trooper. That would be pretty badass too, man. We don't really get a lot of that. They say as combat says, yeah, they never do rebel troopers. They don't. They don't. Uh, just put them on a payment plan and got short trooper being delivered by Monday. Nice, dude. Yeah, man. Uh, short troopers. I'm see. I'm so excited for them. Uh, mine are on the way. Like again, you know, like I waited a little bit, but hey, I, I got a deal on them, so we're you know we're going for it, man. So. Yeah, but let's pull him up actually, shall we? Because this is another one that you that you that you mentioned that I'm I'm excited for as well. And that is our transport trooper. Now he should be he should be right around the corner, right? I don't think he's gonna be too far out. Let me pull him up here. <clears throat> and again, 220. I'm not sure how they're gonna roll with this. Um I think if anything, it'd be really nice. Uh, I don't think out the gate it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, plug and play, but I'd love to maybe if I get that Mando do a thing with the Mando head sculpt, and if we get a Bill Burr, you know Mayfield figure, I I would love to just have a couple of these and have them on, in disguise, unless they you know they double dip on it and they give us a disguised version of Mando and a disguised version of Mayfield, kind of like you know Han and Luke stormtrooper disguise. Uh, I don't know, but even if they do, that means you just have extra troopers. Um, to display because yeah you're right dude this green and this red this is this these earth tones there's something it's cool man and this is basically the mud trooper anyway right like this is kind of a a mismatch of like the mud trooper and a short trooper uh, i'm pretty sure this is the same exact stuff as the mud trooper which is another trooper i skipped out on and i i probably should have grabbed him uh, but i didn't but yeah dude i am i'm down i'm down Give me troopers. And look, mixed together, this color palette looks really good together with these two troopers. Man. And that's just a short trooper grunt. But I, it, it, oh, man. You guys know. I look at this and I get super excited. Because I'm sure you guys do as well, being fans of troopers. He does look pretty sick. And like I said, for 220, man, that ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. Uh, let me go ahead and look through some of the chat, my friends. Mm. Andy H says type pilot is okay in the arms and legs, but the head is severely restricted by the hose and the boots are one piece. So it is wobbly without a base. Damn, that sucks. So it's not like a split cut boot or anything. I, I would imagine, yeah, that makes a good point though, right? With the hose, you probably don't have a lot of head articulation. Um, but I, you know, having them standing there, I think would probably look pretty cool. Two or three, huh? Mm. Combat says he's good with one. My rule is two of every trooper for my display. 501st, one trooper. I have 12. So you basically get two of every trooper usually. But for the 501st, you grabbed 12. That's a lot of freaking 501st, bro. I bet you that looks pretty sick, though. Yeah, true that. I wouldn't mind some more X-Wing pilots, like Porkins or Biggs, Wedge or something other than Luke. Yeah, I know, right? Especially because we're getting this no... Uh, the snow speeder Luke, right? Like, and yeah, it'd be really nice to see some of that stuff, guys. 100%. Imperials reuse some armor for cost effective military. That is true. Um, yeah, Jason, I think he's right. It's hot toys, bro. It's all about a money grab, like ATM. Anytime they need some cash flow, issue some troopers. Yeah, I mean, they'll do that with that and they'll do that with Iron Man. But the problem is, I, I, I feel like we've been getting more and more Iron Mans than we have been troopers. So this is why I'm like, excited. Because we're finally getting like a bunch of uh, trooper stuff. And I think these trooper, there's enough troopers here to satisfy everybody, right? So we got our basic storm trooper. We've got two shore troopers, the transport trooper, the assault tank trooper, the artillery trooper. I mean, like that's six right there. We're getting six troopers and one of which is a baseline vanilla trooper. So that's perfect. This is like the ultimate time right now to army build. If you wanted to, you know what I'm saying? If you wanted to. It's the helmet that gets me on the last. Yeah, I know, man. Sick, bro. 
They're so cool. Combat Evolves says he has seven 501sts right now, and he's getting more. Yeah, I mean, the 501st is a huge one. It's it's crazy. It's crazy to me because a lot of people, you know, they, they're like, eh, I don't really like troopers as much, right? They're not a fan of troopers. Stormtroopers, right? But then these freaking 501sts come out, and then people are like, I'm buying 12 of them. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you're like, oh, shit, okay. Thought you didn't like troopers. Uh, you, you know, in that I'm not not saying that to you, combat, but I just mean in general. I've I've noticed that with a lot of people, and it's so it's surprising that I think they just oh, there's a lot of people that are really into Clone Wars. I think that's what I just underestimated. Is those five hundred first man? Holy shit, people are buying those guys up, man. Which is you know you don't see that as often with stormtroopers. I mean, some of us do, right? We do pick up a lot of them, but we're I think we're a smaller percentage of a group versus what's going on with the five hundred first right now. Uh, let me see with chat here. Darren says, need a Mayfield head sculpt. Yeah, man. I would love that. I love Bill Burr, too. I thought he did a great job in, in Mando. I have six 501st, but I can't get more with these Imperials coming. But I'll get three Vons and swap the helmets. Oh. Not a bad idea. Dark Trooper, too. Yeah, I want to get those Dark Troopers. Um, that's another thing we should we we could talk about. I don't have them pulled up, but I'll pull them up here in a minute, and we'll we'll, we'll talk about that. Mm. We have. Let me get the stats. Okay, yeah. Hopefully, they fill the troopers with clones for new pre-orders. Uh, S Beam, hey, what's up, bud? Uh, the troopers are awesome. I'll be getting two of these troopers. Yeah, dude. He still needs some five hundred firsts. Boogie's on Team Trooper from day one. Hell yeah, man. You know, some people aren't, and that's cool. Some people like getting 87 Iron Mans. So it's cool that there's something for everybody. But I'm all about troopers too, man. I have a lot of troopers behind me, but I also have a lot of Star Wars in general, so there's a lot of mix in there. But I did miss out on some. Uh, Gilbert, well, so what trooper do you think will pair up well with Jyn or so Deluxe, in your opinion? Mm, well, I mean, I don't know if they would pair up well because Jyn's more rebellion, right? But if you wanted to stick to like a Rogue One theme, then I would say Death Troopers, um, personally. Or you can always just go with regular Stormtroopers. But uh, a Death Trooper, you know, because those were pretty prominent in Rogue One, and the Shore Trooper, obviously. Uh, if you're trying to go for a theme, then I would say Death Trooper, Shore Trooper, or regular Stormtrooper, uh, personally. Now, I would I would think with the Imperial Disguise one, I wouldn't mind that TIE pilot uh, trooper to pair with her. I think that would look pretty cool together. Um, Tamora Morrison is, yeah, dude, I know, man. He's getting so much money, bro. Um, Yeah, he says he has a lot of credits. I know, right? I bet he does, man. After all this shit, man, they keep making them. Uh, I also got more clones than Imperials since we will get more Imperial, but clones, I don't know. I know. Well, it's weird that they're doing stuff right now, too, because all this Clone Wars stuff, if uh, correct me if I'm wrong, that at least what what's under the Hot Toys brand, all the Clone Wars branding from Hot Toys is Season 7 of Clone Wars, right? So you're getting that Ahsoka, that Maul, uh, that Anakin, and then you've got you've got Cody, or I'm not, I'm sorry, uh, Rex, and then Vaughn and Jesse, right? And if we ever get that Obi-Wan, that's all like Season 7 stuff, right? So I don't know much further they're going to go down that line, but they've definitely dabbled into it, right? Now we're getting like a like seven or eight releases from that. So they may do more. I'm not sure. Uh, artillery is past Dark Trooper. I want to see it unboxed. Hmm. I have eight First Order Stormtroopers posed with Kylo and Captain Phasma. It looks awesome. See, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, I didn't want to, like, I didn't, I just, I'm not a fan of the sequels, right? But But then I started looking at those troopers, and I was like, man, like, when I got my Kylo, I was thinking, dude, I need some First Order troopers or some Sith troopers uh, or even Phasma. So I bet you that does look pretty awesome, dude. It's just for me, I didn't want to, I didn't grab them, and now I'm kind of like, well, I mean, the, fortunately, they're still pretty cheap. I can I can pick them up, so I, I may, because like I said, I have Rey and Kylo, and that's it. I'm like, man, I should probably put a little bit more into that display, especially if it's troopers. It'd be kind of cool looking. Mm, Death Trooper is sick. I hope we get more. Yeah, I mean we've gotten we've gotten three Death Troopers now, right? 
We've gotten the Death Trooper Specialist. Death Trooper Specialist Deluxe. Were they both specialists in Rogue One? Let me know. I forget. And then we got Death Trooper from Mandalorian. So I think we've gotten three so far. I think. Um, do you think the Moth Gideon will end up being eventually sought after like the Krennic? Photos on Sideshow look pretty great. Yeah, I do. I am so looking forward to Moff Gideon. We don't get a lot of Imperial uh, people. You know, we got Krennic, got Tarkin. And that's about it, right? So having having Moff Gideon, he's and he's cool because he's kind of like this. He's kind of like a hybrid, right? Like, let's just say he's like half like a Darth Vader type character and then half Imperial officer, if if that makes sense, right? Just like from a from a visual standpoint, right? He's got a cape, he's got armor, he's all black, but he's he's all imperial. So I, I, I think he's dope, and he's got the Darksaber, so. Six Troopers coming out this year and next. Iron Man has three releases, same period. Well, we're definitely getting, we're getting Troopers this year, bro. It's pretty awesome. Um, Gotta wait on these Troopers uh, so I can get Ahsoka, Maul, and Anakin. Yeah, dude. They'll all look good together. Do we have four Death Troopers? All right. So was it a regular Death Trooper, then Specialist, then Specialist Deluxe, and then Mando Death Trooper? <laughs> Excuse me. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. I think you're right. Uh, do you think Hot Toys will make anyone from Rebels? I don't know, uh, Darren. I haven't seen Rebels, but they might. And I would only say that because might because we still have all this Book of Boba Fett. We got Mando still going. We got Ahsoka coming. We got Obi-Wan coming probably have that acolyte coming um you know and now they're announcing hey we're doing new shit dr strange and freaking spider-man and uh moon knight uh you know so hot toys is like i, I did they're so behind man they're so behind with shit so uh, eventually probably but i don't think anytime soon oh what's up mafia what's up we'll see just tuned in uh number one death trooper Number two, short trooper, and now this tank commander is growing on me. I also love Vader's purge troopers. Uh, are, are you talking about the troopers from uh, Jedi Fallen Order? Because those are sick, and I wish we would have got some troopers from there. Anthony, wouldn't you like to see the dark side character series? Yeah, like an actual show that like revolved like strictly around like the Empire. Something like that, I would uh, that'd be cool, man. I'd love it. Uh, the Bad Batch was the most depressing Hot Toys line, so much potential. Yeah, I haven't even looked at any of the figures because I haven't seen Bad Batch, so to me, I had no interest because I have no frame of reference. Um, let me pull this up though. We're gonna pull up both of these right now since we're since we're talking about it. Um, And it is related. So let me pull this up, guys, here. Boom, boom. Now, I don't have a label banner for it because we're just kind of winging this. But, yeah, the Dark Troopers, man. Yeah, that should be the Acolyte, right? But I think that's going to take place in the Old Republic, but I could be wrong. I don't know. We don't know anything. But that'll be pretty badass, man. I think so. Um... So we'll see. But yeah, I mean, okay, so look, we're looking at a 200, uh, $260 price tag on these guys. April to June on Sideshow, which means this thing might be coming out pretty damn soon overseas. Probably in the next month or so, I'm guessing. Maybe after Chinese New Year. Now, I don't know though yet, right? Because I don't know what kind of quality this is. I really really don't want this to feel like a toy but the images really make it look like a toy does that make sense and i want them but i don't think it looks i just i can't tell i can't tell by photos bro i can't because the lighting's off you got all this reflectiveness going which makes it look like cheap plastic doesn't look like metal um, I don't know if these parts right here, the ratcheted joints, are these are these die cast, you know, or like what is this? I mean, I know what they are, right? They're dark troopers, they're badass, but I just don't know how this, what's the final product's gonna be, right? 
because I would definitely like these. I would definitely get at least two of these because I would pair this with Moff Gideon. I would do two with Moff Gideon, and I think, I mean, they look cool, man, but I just don't know, right? We don't know until we get it in hand or somebody gets it in hand and gets to tell us, like, how it feels, you know what I mean, what, it, what, what, it, what it's all about, man. I think they're sick, but I'm afraid they're going to be too toyish, and I think a lot of people are going to skip out on these. So I think there'll be plenty around for us to pick up, uh, to be honest with you. See, if you watch Clone Wars later down the road and end up wanting tons of clones, that would be hilarious. Yeah. Listen, man, I don't think, I don't think that's ever going to happen, bro. Um, <laughs> like, I'll watch it. I'll watch it, but I don't think <clears throat> I don't think something like that can pull me in so hardcore and and de and detract from from the original trilogy to where I'd be like, I want clones like so badly, right? Now again, I mean, I, I have I have Cody and I have Rex, I have two Coruscant guards, I have one five zero first. I wouldn't mind getting more. Don't get me wrong, they're cool, but I'm not gonna have that connection. I don't think as much as I do with say the you know regular stormtroopers so it's it's hard and it's hard uh you're saying the dark trooper's sick i only want to yeah i'm only gonna get two of these guys uh fett i don't know bro diablo i don't know i don't know like i said we're gonna find out uh he's pretty dope though i i just hope he's not too toyish that's my only concern i did get the deluxe luke he was a must buy yeah i didn't pick him up yet but i will probably get him i also have the ss -AT, at driver which looks great but suffers from the usable Usual sideshow loose joints. Yeah, I know. That is unfortunate, man. It is, man, because there's some pretty cool ones that they've made, but, you know, the bodies suck. I would pick up two of these Dark Troopers just to recreate the Luke scene. Yeah, I think a lot of people may, especially if you get that deluxe Luke with the with the crushed Dark Trooper as well. That's pretty sick. Uh, these guys flanking. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, Max. That's exactly what I'm doing. Uh, you know, because I kind of have a thing going where... What I like to do is, and I know you guys can't see it um, behind me over here, the way I have it positioned. But like, I'll have Krennic with two Death Troopers, right? Um, and then I had uh, Grand Moff Tarkin I had displayed with two Coruscant Guards behind him. Uh, which I guess you could work with the Emperor, too, but you know what I mean? But then with the Emperor, and I don't have him, but I'm working on getting him, is like two Royal Guards to flank my Emperor with his chair. Um, and then, you know, Vader... You have and he's like flanked with like two stormtroopers you see what i'm saying so i want moff gideon i kind of want to follow that that pattern have moff gideon with two dark troopers i think that looks sick at first i was thinking death troopers but then as mando went on and we saw the dark troopers i was like oh well pff, no brainer you know let's let's do that let's let's do that so and speaking of let's pull him up let's pull him up I know he's not trooper, but he is he is related. See, like even with basic stormtroopers, though, bro, that does pop. You know, his black and red contrasts really well with that white, so that would be a really nice display. Oh man, you can just totally mix these guys up, man. Uh look at Moff Gideon on Sideshow Site. Pose with some regular stormtroopers. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're here we are. Yeah. So yeah, you're you're ahead of me on that one. Um they, they do look great, man. I was referring to the Purge Troopers I saw from the Vader comics. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, Anno Toys has the Imperial Guards. Dude, I need, I need two of them. I need two of them. They're, yeah, they're expensive, man. I need them, dude. Uh, a day one pre-ordered uh, Gideon. Yeah, man. Uh, he looks freaking sweet. Now, I'm, okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Is his likeness there? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so at all, bro. I think this is a prototype. And if I'm being honest with you, I think this this sculpt looks like shit. In my opinion, and maybe I'm being a little uh maybe I'm being a little harsh on that. But I think this is not going to be the final product. I don't think it's going to be the final product. I don't know if it's the lighting. I don't think that looks like him. I see some resemblance, but listen, Hot Toys is really good at doing older male 
figures, right? Their faces look great. You know, uh, Grand Moff Tarkin looks amazing. You know, Alec Guinness, you know, Obi-Wan looks amazing. Shit, even this Boba Fett, man, looks amazing. Like, they need, they, they need to, I just don't think it looks as good, bro. I don't, but I'm, I'm still getting him. My point is, I think they're going to be updating this head sculpt. And maybe that's just my opinion, but I don't think that, that quite captures his likeness. So maybe I'm being a little harsh on it. I'm still picking him up. I just feel like it doesn't, it doesn't quite capture it like some of their other figures that they've already done. Jedi Knight's Watch. What's up, man? Hey, how you doing, bud? Uh, we're just talking troopers, man. We're talking troopers. Uh, would I get the Emperor from the Revenge of the Sith? Yeah, yeah I probably would. Bobby says I'm right. Make us a better one. You know what, Dick? I would. <laughs> I would if I could. And I'm just saying, look, we, we, we have that caliber, bro. I think they need to make that Moff Gideon face a little bit better. Do you guys, am I wrong? Do you guys think this, this head sculpt's amazing? Or do you think this head sculpt can be improved? Let me know. Cause I don't, I don't think it's, I don't think it's, it's, it's accurate. I don't think the likeness is there. I don't. Uh, you'd say it's about 85%. Yeah. And that's not, yeah. I want this to be great. I want that to be him. So. Yeah, it could be better. I agree. Like, it's just, but dude, uh, all things considered, that's sick, bro. That's sick. Uh, you know, pairing them with the Death Troopers, even that with the base Storm Trooper. I mean, everything looks good. Oh, okay, Max. I'm sorry, man. I'm, I'm all confused here, man. You were saying uh, the Rise of Skywalker. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. Here, here's the thing. Probably not, because I thought having Palpatine come back in the Rise of Skywalker was one of the dumbest things they could have done in that that sequel trilogy. Myself, um, the only way I would get him is if he came with a cool ass display where he was all mangled up and hooked up and all gangly and decrepit and undead looking. I would buy that. That's it, though. That's it. Um, it's not perfect. You think it looks good. I think the sculpt's decent. I like it, but it's not perfect. Yeah, I, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. Like, you pick up Grand Moff Tarkin, and you look at that, and you're like, that's Grand Moff Tarkin. You pick up Obi-Wan, you know, New Hope, and you're like, that's Alec Guinness. I'm looking at this, and I just don't see it, bro. It almost looks like a black series. It, I don't think it looks, I don't know. I don't know. It could be lighting, but it's not there. It's not there. I think they need to improve this. That's maybe that's just my opinion, but they need to improve it. They need to improve it. Something about it's a little off. And again, it's not bad, but like when you, when you, when you, when you're used to a certain caliber and then, you know, you're like, I expect it. You're paying a lot of money for things like this. I, I think it needs to be better, personally. And I'm, I'm going to call it as I see it. Improve this head sculpt if you guys are watching. That's all I'm going to say on that one. But he's dope. I love Moff Gideon. I just want that to be a little bit better looking. Um, see, yeah, not perfect. Yeah, exactly, right? Yeah, they aren't cheap, uh, considering the posability. Uh, uh, looks a little like his head's made of from clay. Yeah, it's freaking, I don't know. There's something about it, man. Yeah, I would have to say yes. Yeah, I wrote the emperor. Yeah, that's like kind of the only way I would, I would, I would do it as well, man. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to Moff Gideon too, man. I, I really am. I, I just, I think they need to improve that sculpt. And I think once they do that, uh, we're good. Let me um, see here. So we looked at that transport troopers, stormtrooper commander, our assault tank commander. We get looked at both of our shore troopers. Yeah, man. Well, shoot, guys. I think we covered a lot. Wow, we're already an hour and 15 in. Um, is there anything else we should look at right now while we're, while we're talking troopers? I mean... I was just trying to look at what troopers are coming because I was, it's a good time, right? It's a good time being a trooper collector that we have, we have like six 
you know, six or so troopers that are basically out or about to be out, right? I mean, we have all of them now except the, um, the uh, whatchamacallit, right? Um, transport trooper, right? Uh, yeah, let's take a look. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We can look around a little bit more. Diablo Fett, you make a good point, my friend, and I really want this. No, I don't want that. I want the damn. Let's pull, let's pull this guy up, man. Yes. Because, man, that pissed me off. And only because I just bought the damn Mando one. And not that I don't like the Mando one, but son of a bitch. I put it, I buy it, and then they announce this shit. And it's like, come on, dude. Come on. How cool is this, man? How cool is this? How many of you guys getting? Yeah, I know. The price is a little bit, but dude, come on. This is so screwed up, man. This is so screwed up to me. You know why? Because I want like three of these things, man. I want like three of these freaking bikes. <laughs> yeah, okay, so look, I got my Leia. I didn't get my Luke because I got my other Luke. I got my other Return of the Jedi Luke, so I didn't get that Luke. And that sucks because I really want that Luke. So I, want, I'm, I, will, I will hunt down that Luke. I will find a good price on that Luke because I want my Leia and I want my Luke in their ponchos and their helmets, and I want them on two of these damn bikes. Or have them both on one bike together, right? Like Luke's riding and, and Leia's, you know, sitting behind him, something. And then have them. And I was thinking about it, and I know it's a wild, it's crazy, and I always change my stuff up, but, like, how cool would it be if I had, like, two or three of these bikes with Luke and Leia and some scout troopers, and I put them right up here, and I move these helmets out of the way, and I do this little scene Maybe I take all this foliage stuff, you know, from all my displays and I kind of make a forest. I go by like little trees and kind of 3D, you know, keep it depth and just kind of make this long runway almost like this strip. And um, I mean, that's money, bro. I ain't got that money, but <laughs> I would do it. It would be so awesome looking, man. It would be so awesome looking. And you get the awesome sniper rifle with this one. I love the color. Uh, he's more weathered. I mean, this this is badass, guys. But yeah, you're right. The the <clears throat> excuse me, the price the price kind of sucks, man. You know, if you want to get both of them. So yeah, like like you were saying, bud, yeah, you're going to get two, but the price, you know, single bike, single scout, that's still that's still not a bad still not a bad deal to do. Uh like I said Diablo, I don't know, man. I I I'm going to get at least one, but I would like to have a couple. Uh I just uh, I don't know. I bet Hot Toys was laughing all the way to the bank. Yeah, dude, hell yeah, they were, man. I was so, I mean, and I like this one. I like the Mando bike, but, dude, it's all about Return of the Jedi. Come on, man. Yeah, Max, like I said, I got Luke, I got Leia. I still need to grab that Luke. I should have grabbed them. I just didn't think about it. Darren says you need one for Wicked. Yeah, dude, he could. He could. That shit would be funny looking, man. Uh, I bought the Mando Scout Trooper because I didn't think we'd get it. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, I didn't think so either. So that was like my main thing. I'm like, well, shit, I'm getting a scout bike. I don't want the sideshow one because it's flimsy and it's, you know, chintzy. And and then Hot Toys puts it out. You're like, well, all right, I'm going to get it. Fuck it. It's a speeder bike. It's cool. And then, boom, here's Return of the Jedi. Um, I can afford one. Two would be great, though. Yeah, I know. I know, man. It's rough, dude. So we all got a mix in here. So it looks like we're all at least probably picking it up. But, you know, you're getting two, you're getting two scout with spike, uh, troopers with it. Uh, S Bean's just grabbing one and one. Uh, you know, Bogey's getting one and one. Yeah, I know, man. That shit would be so cool looking, man. That whole indoor setup. Uh, some stormtroopers and some scouts would also be so good. Yeah, man. Yeah, mix it all in, dude. I think it would look sick, dude. Uh, comparing it to the Mando versus Return of the Jedi scout troopers on looks alone, which do you prefer just looks? Uh, well, if you're talking about the troopers, 
and not the bikes. I think this, I think this Return of the Jedi Scout Trooper, this is my cup of tea right here. Uh, this weathering, it's like a brown and green-ish weathering, which is, you know, of like, you know, how it looks, man. Like, it looks like, like there's like maybe some foliage, you know, they brushed up on stuff out here, plus the little blaster fires, the dirt. It, it looks like it belongs in the forest, you know what I'm saying? Whereas I feel like the, the Mando Scout Trooper is okay. He's okay looking, but there's something about this one. I don't know if it's, a, you know, it's also pulling on my member berries, you know, because Return of the Jedi. But it looks sick, dude. I mean, if I'm looking at this at face value right here, I'm if I'm going off this image alone right here, and I see a Scout Trooper on this bike, and I look at my Scout Trooper on his bike, this right here wins me. 10 out of 10 times. I'm like, I want this. It screams original trilogy, you know what I'm saying? So in my head, I, I, I instantly love it more so than Mandalorian. And again, I don't think this is going to be much different. This is the exact same damn bike, bro. That's how they got us. So they're just, they just, they doing a different paint job, different weathering, but it's the same bike. So and this is going to come out July to September. That's not actually that far away now that we think about it. I mean, but damn. I do like the weathered look on Mando Trooper, but the bright white is sick too. Yeah, man. I don't, they're, they're both really good, man. I just, I like original trilogy so much more. Uh, just a trooper for me, no room for the bike. I could afford it, I just don't have the space. Space is a factor, bro. Uh, payment plan was a must with this one. My single one, I just regular pre-ordered, but the bike had to do a payment plan. Yeah, man, it's pricey. Uh, uh, payment plans for these are, are, are worth it, you know, for these, you know, big vehicles, stuff like that, absolutely. I'm probably picking up one of these scouts. I already have the Mando one. I think one of each is sufficient. Fair point. One for me. Got to think of space. Yeah. So, here, look, I'm just being a little crazy. <laughs> Let's be real. Like, I don't, I don't think people are going to go out there and get three speeder bikes. <clears throat> Hell, I don't think I'm going to do it, but I want to. You know, I want to. Hell, I think everybody in the chat wants to. Right? I mean, how cool would it be to have a Luke and a Leia, you know, in their indoor attire with, with the camo tarps, the ponchos, and the outfits, and rocking speeder bikes, and having a couple speeders, a scout trooper, like, aiming at them, and the other one coming up from behind, and you have this long-tiered display. That would look sick, man. That would look sick. And then you got your Ewok, and then you got a couple of stormtroopers out there, just regular, like they're running on foot or something. And, and then you buy a bunch of little mini trees and all this other foliage shit. Dude, I mean, like, here I am. I'm going crazy in my head. Like, just thinking, of, visualizing, like, how cool that would look. But then you're like, damn, that's a huge-ass display. So, I mean, I don't know. Um, but it would look pretty badass. I'm not going to lie. Right? Yeah, we all want tons of troopers. I know, man. I mean, we all do. We all do. Uh, I'd love to build a huge, I know, right? Like, come on. And that's what I'm saying. That's why I was like, you know what, guys? Let's do a stream. We'll we'll talk, you know, we'll talk shop. We'll shoot the shit about some troopers because so many are coming. We're getting a good, this is good. This is a good year for trooper fans. Because um, last year was a little underwhelming, I must say. We did get some, right? Like we got the, the Mandalorian Remnant Trooper, right? I think that was last year. Was that 2021 or did that come right at the end of 2020? I don't recall. And the Death Trooper, right? And the Incinerator Trooper. And, um, yeah, help me out here, guys. Was that it? I don't think we got any other troopers. I'm not talking about clones. I'm not talking about clones. But I feel like stormtroopers we were lacking, um, and and yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think in my head. I don't, I don't, I don't think there was others, right? Uh, we got the scout trooper, I guess, right? Because of the speeder bike. So, but that's not much, right? So for now, I'm like, oh shit, we're getting regular stormtroopers, which is perfect for the price that we can army build and do all that shit, and then you know go from there, and and then yeah, we're getting the dark troopers, right? We're getting a ton this year, so. I'm saying like being released, not announced, right? So 
released, we didn't really get shit. So I'm happy that this year we're going to, it looks like we're getting close to eight different troopers being released this year. So I can't wait for that. Um, Diablo Fett says, okay, I'm the only one to hit the like button. Come on, friends. Smash that like for the mafia. Yes, please do so. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I greatly appreciate it. I'm on my way to 1,000 subscribers. I'm going to be giving away IG-11. I'm sure that's getting old to hear um, for everybody who typically tunes in because I've been saying it on every damn stream. But really... I have an IG-11 sealed inbox. I'm giving it away to one of the thousand subscribers at a giveaway. Go on my channel, see the main video, comment on that video. That's how I'm picking the winner on a live stream, and you will be the new owner of an IG-11. So I want to give back to the community, so that's the one I chose. I thought IG-11 was pretty underrated. He's a cool figure. And I think he would he'd be a great addition to anybody's collection. And if you don't want to, if you win it and you don't like them, you know, get rid of them, sell them, donate them, do whatever you want with them. It's yours. Uh, just my, my gift to you. So anyway, with that said, yeah, Dark Troopers. Like I said, there's not much. There's not much, guys. Uh, they need a Commander Green Fox for the Coruscant Guards. Yeah, I don't know. I think Hot Toys will start doing those now, now that it's been a while from Sideshow. I think we're going to see more stuff like that. But I don't know if it's going to be anytime soon. Uh, we need new snow troopers. Yeah, man. I need snow troopers. I need snow troopers. Will C subscribed and like, thanks, Will. Thank you very much, my friend. Um, I really appreciate it. We're working our way up there, man. Jenna Nights watched this amazing giveaway. I appreciate that. I think it really is too, man. I think a lot of people, <clears throat> some people didn't get them, you know? And uh, whether it's just they didn't want to put the money down on them or whatever's. And I'll tell you what, man, there's nothing like a, a free gift anyway, right? And if you don't have that figure, I think you'll learn to appreciate him because he's really cool. He's really cool, man. The engineering on him is badass. I really like him. Uh, I'm only 114 subs, so I feel you. It takes time to get there. It takes time, my friends. It does. Uh, 100%, man. So I appreciate that. And I don't know if you're trying, but, you know, S. Bean, bro, check out his channel, too. Maybe go over there and give him a sub, my friends. Um, you know, uh, that's what about, I like about the community, man. Everybody, like, works together here. So. Uh, it just depends on what you're doing. I try to provide content that's enjoyable, man. I mean, everybody, I think I believe everybody's time is valuable, so I appreciate your guys' time, you know, coming in, tuning in. I don't want to, I don't want to kind of just wrap around in circles on you guys and tell you this and this, and you know, get you hyped up for this or, you know, it's all about being a fan, man. So this was Trooper Appreciation. Uh, with that said, guys, I think we're going to wrap, man. We're an hour and a half. This was great. This was kind of impromptu. I was just thinking, you know, I was like, hey, look at all these troopers coming. Maybe we could talk about them. So I appreciate everybody coming in and tuning in with this. And uh, if you guys like this, maybe I'll do a couple more, you know, like solo, you know, we'll just go live and we'll, we'll talk about something cool, you know, and just kind of shoot the shit together, guys. So anyway, I guess I'm going to wrap. So again, IG-11 giveaway, guys, if you haven't already done it. Uh, my Facebook group, too, Six Scale Mafia. Come join it, man. Show me some pictures. Let's talk Star Wars or Hot Toys, whatever. And, and on my Instagram, same thing, Six Scale Mafia. Remember, guys, I know I confuse people. It's six scale. It's not six. You know what I'm saying? It's just six, S-I-X. That's how I roll. I don't have the T-H in my name. A lot of people I've noticed try to tag me, and they type six or things like that. So everything is always Six Scale Mafia. Instagram, my Facebook group, obviously YouTube, guys. Appreciate you all tuning in. It was fun talking and sharing our love for troopers. So absolutely, everybody, I love trooper talk. It was fun to hang out with my friends. Thanks, bro. Brave stream. Uh, troop streams are the best ones. I appreciate all you guys. It's awesome. It's love. It's Star Wars. What do we got going on today? Tonight, I might be doing some stuff with Lael. I'm not sure. Tomorrow, I know I'm going to be on Brother Cousins for his best of the best. I don't know what's happening this weekend. It's all fun. It's going to be good. Um, yeah, guys, that's it, man. I'm bad at ending things. Well, peace out, brothers. Stay safe. <laughs>